What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. I'm ready to uh, go through our next setup or our next concept for our regs ebook, our free regs ebook out of the New England Playbook. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every single day here on the YouTube channel. And the reason we're doing our YouTube channel is to try to help people become better Madden players. One of the questions that I've been getting a lot is, can you show me an offense that works in regs? Can you show me an offense that works on current gen? Can you show me an offense that works on next gen? And really this regs ebook is to kind of answer all three of those questions um, within one basic ebook. And so this is a free ebook. Um, I have an expanded version of this trips tied in ebook on my Patreon membership. This is the free version. If you want to get the expanded version, again, be sure to join our Patreon. The other cool part about the membership is that for only 10 bucks a month, you're not only getting access to one of our ebooks, you're going to get access to all of them. I've got 20 offensive and defensive ebooks available as we speak, and I've got several more that I'm planning over the course of the next several weeks. We actually got a brand new one that I'm going to be launching uh, this week, which is really, really exciting. I'm thinking about revamping a couple of them as well or updating them. So again, you get access to everything by being a Patreon member. Every single week we drop updates, um, kind of just simple, um, I don't know what to kind of call them. But basically, they're just simple updates to the game. So as the game shifts, um, you know, so does our setup, so does some of our concepts. And so we update the membership every single week with new material as well. So if you want to get access to all of that, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for that. Okay, guys, so we're going to get into the video. And um, I wanted to talk today about one of my favorite passing concepts that I like in regs. It's really simple. Um, and again, the offense I recommend for this regs ebook is the green bay packers this is my favorite uh concept to go to whenever my opponent is zone dropping and trying to slow down my number one set so i'm going to recap our number one setup and then i'm going to show you our our setup number two or our secondary concept and so again we're in the trips tied in now um you can put Devonte adams in the slot if you want to i think that that does help some but you can also put him on the outside and for this in particular concept I like to put him on the outside and the reason why is because that that way i don't have to audible i can do everything from my hot routes uh which i think is really really important so again our audibles are curl flat quick base verticals pa corner if you want to sub out um and for this video we're gonna be talking about pats white in um if you want to put that in the place of curl flat you certainly can um especially if you don't have an outside apprentice definitely is not a bad thing to do um, but i love the blocking you get from play action so i typically try to stay in pa counter go as much as i possibly can uh so anyways let's recap the first setup and then we'll get into uh the secondary setup that we're going to show you in this video so this is you know really this offense is designed to be ran on the left hash so if you ever find yourself on the right hash just run quick base or just run uh pa slot corner which is a setup we're going to get into later on in this ebook but basically what we're going to do this is our first setup we simply do this right here and this is one of the best concepts might might just be the best concept in madden this year it's a really good play and as you can see that route is going to force them to have to double mabel it's going to force them to have to drop a 30 yard cloud flat and so what they're going to oftentimes go to when they start to get hit with that is they're going to go to something like this uh which is basically a double mabel coverage so you see here they've got you know this and you'll see that this stops um, this concept, especially on the sideline, you see that he plays it really well, and then you're gonna have to try to like get your user catch on. So what do you like to do whenever your opponent is doing something like that? Well, this is my favorite setup. So what I like to do, and this is why I have Pat's Y in, um, for those of you that don't have an outside apprentice, but what I like to do is take Devonte Adams and put him on a post, and you can smart route it or not smart route it. I actually prefer not to smart route the post, and then we're going to flat Alan Lazard to the number two receiver. We're going to slant our inside slot. And then we're going to put our tight end on a in route. And we're going to smart route it so that it goes 10 yards. So you see here, this is the basic gist of the concept. Now, again, with PA counter go, you get significantly better blocking than if you just block your running back. Okay. Um, very much so, you know, very effective. But your first read on this um, is your slant. Your second read is your in route. Your third read is your... Um, post and then your fourth read is your check down to your flat so we're just gonna look quick here work through the reads and you see that this is why i like this so much because this setup really um attacks the middle of the field you think about it like let's say that your opponent is running a cover two defense 
um, you know, where they're using essentially a Mabel concept out of the cover two defense to get them an extra underneath defender. In this example, what's going to happen is now you're going to be able to split that um, with this PA counter go setup because you have a post to Devontae Adams. And what you'll see here is against cover two, this post will split the safeties right up the seam for a one play score. So again, this setup is really designed to attack the middle field. Now, if you don't want to put Devontae Adams on the outside or you don't have outside apprentice or you don't have hot remaster, then the play that I like to use, there's two things you can do. The first thing you can do is you can go to this Pat's Y in play. You're gonna notice that it already has the outside receiver on a skinny post. So you don't have to do anything with that. So now all we need to do, and we also have the tight end on a dig, right? So what I like to do is smart route the tight end. I like to go ahead and flat the outside slot, slant the inside slot, and then I like to go ahead and block my running back. So you see, this is what it looks like. And what you're gonna see is basically the exact same thing. And we go from, our real read is really the, where does the user go? Does the user go to the slant or does the user go to the in route? And what's gonna have to happen is they are gonna have to have a yellow zone um, over the middle. So let's say for example, that we get something like that. So let's say, you know, we're in a defense and you know, they're running something like this and you know let's just say that they take you know maybe they user this guy for example okay just just a simple example here but maybe they're using this guy right here and that way they can have this guy in kind of a zone okay maybe they're there in like a two four five odd type setup so they have a yellow zone and a curl flat zone on the right side of the screen now what they don't have is they have a, they don't have any zone deep on the left side of the screen so we're going to come back to that this is what makes outside apprentice so valuable because and really it also makes this this deep in route to the tight end because you'll see here oh that's taken away but now look at all that real estate that i can hit right there so you see how this kind of concept really um is is very effective now if you wanted to do a five out version of this play and let's say they're dropping this guy into a vertical hook they're dropping this guy into a quarter and this guy into a cloud now what you'll see here is and then of course they're mabling backside and then they're planning to take the tight end post what you can do with this and this is where um, a five out setup out of maybe pat's yn um, is very valuable because what you can do is you could take the running back and put him on an out route. And that's gonna be a man beater for you. But also what it's gonna do is it's going to threaten the flats. If there's nobody in the flats, you could throw that and get about 12 to 15 yards every single time. So you see how this concept is really, really effective against man in zone coverage. Now, if you're getting a lot of man, this is my favorite concept in the game, but I wanna, I wanna quickly come out of this and I wanna show you one other thing. And I talked about this in a previous video on my YouTube channel, but let's say that they're not Mabling, but what they're doing is they're running a little bit of a man align kind of style of defense. This is something that you'll see some really advanced players will do this to trips tight end, and it can make it a little bit difficult. And so what you can do, um, what they will do, is they will basically put this defender right here into a vertical hook. They'll shade their coverage down. This guy's gonna be in a um, uh, an inside quarter. And then this guy typically is in man coverage on the tight end, or they might take this guy and man him up on the tight end, for example, um, so that they can leave, so that they can leave that zone. Or, you know, maybe in this situation, we're gonna go double purples, you know, different things, you know, different different things they could do. But, you know, typically you're gonna have this, and this is a really heavy underneath zone coverage, right? And what you'll notice here, again, of course, they're gonna be the user of the middle field. Well, what I like to do, and this is a great setup for this type of concept. What we can easily do out of this, this is kind of a secondary setup. Again, it's a little bit more specific to man coverage, but it's one of my favorite plays for man to man press. What we're gonna do is we're gonna zig the inside slot. We're still gonna put that tight end on that smart route of in route. We're gonna slant the uh, outside receiver, and then we're going to streak the outside slot. So you see it looks kind of like this. Now this is a great play, especially if you're concerned that they're in man to man to take that running back and flex him out as a little in route or a little out route. And what you'll see here is against press man, they run into each other and you see that this guy gets over the top for a one play touchdown. So they really can't run that setup. Um, it, it really is very difficult for them to have, you know, to, you know, the, the cover one robber defense. And I'll show you something else that you can do with this. Again, they love to put this guy in the inside quarter. And I've talked about why in, in previous videos on my channel, but what you'll see here is that even if they do something like this, and let's say that they, you know, take this guy on the backside, man him up with a tight end, and then let's just say, you know, again, that they don't they don't put any zone to the sideline, right? I uh, just want you to watch how this concept works. It really is kind of a rub route that we're getting 
within the trips. And so you see here, see how they kind of run into each other and see how both of those corners just kind of dumb out. It doesn't really matter. They don't have to have a purple zone. It's just a simple man rub and it's really, really good to the short side of the field. So what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to go ahead and shade over top. They're gonna have to do some other things. And when they start doing stuff like that, um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say that they are, you know, let's say that they have, you know, kind of a shade going on. Um, and then again, just to kind of illustrate, we'll go there and go there, okay, with the burr hook. And then we'll just take this guy, man him up on the running back, you know, kind of get a defense, kind of a basics. So let's say we show you the same route combo. What you'll see is this does defend that concept a little better. They'll still run into each other a lot of times, but now look at how open that slant is. You see how open that gets crossing the face of the formation. So if you're ever facing someone that's running a lot of man coverage, especially in regs, this is a great play to go to. Um, it's basically the exact same concept. And again, we're doing all of this from hot routes. We don't have to have hot route master to do this concept. And you see again, the little zig right here is a great check down in the situations as well. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is the second part of the ebook. We've got more videos coming out, so make sure that you're subscribed. If you'd like to get the more advanced version of this ebook, uh, I, you can do that by joining our Patreon. What's really cool about that is it gets you access to all of my Madden ebooks. I've got over 20 offensive and defensive guides available. In addition to that, like I said, we update it every single week with new material. All the guides are up to date, and we have everything uh, kind of dialed in for you over that membership. So it, it, just a great one-stop shop for everything um, to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, go ahead and join the Patreon. It's only $10 a month and get you access to everything. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys later.